Hi, this is Riyan from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, I'll be creating access control rules using inline layers feature in Jackpoint Firewall RET1. A policy in Jackpoint Firewall is a set of rules that the security gateway enforces on incoming and outgoing traffic. When a packet arrives at the security gateway, the security gateway checks it against the rules in the first ordered layer starting from top to bottom and enforces the first rule that matches a packet. If the action of the matching rule is dropped, then the security gateway stops matching against later rules in the policy rule base and drops the packet. If the action is accept, then the security gateway continues to check rules in the next ordered layer. If none of the rule in the ordered layer match the packet, then the explicit default cleanup rule is applied. Now suppose if you have 1000 rules on your firewall, when a packet arrives at a firewall, firewall will start checking rules to match the traffic. If the rule match at line number 800, then it will consume lot of resources from your checkpoint firewall. To fix this, checkpoint has a solution named inline layers. An inline layer is a sub policy which is independent of the rest of the rule base. The inline layer has a parent rule and sub rules. The action of the parent rule is the name of the inline layer. Create a parent rule for the inline layer. Make a rule that has one or more properties that are the same for all the rules in the inline layer. For example, rules that have the same source or service or group of users. You will have a better idea when I create and apply the inline layer rules in this lab guide. Let me show you the lab topology which I am going to use in this lab guide. Already I have configured hide behind the gateway net for this LAN segment. I have also created the required access control rules in firewall to allow the internet access traffic. Let's check internet connectivity on our Windows 7 computer which is part of the LAN segment. Let's click on Internet Explorer and try to access google.com website. Fine. So this Windows 7 computer is currently connected with Internet. Now let's uh, go to this Windows 10 virtual machine where I have installed the Smart Console dashboard. Let's click on Security Policies and then you need to click on the policy. Already I have created firewall rules to allow the Internet access in a LAN network 192.168.22.0/24. Uh, first of all, uh, let me show the network object. Let's click on networks, and you can verify the network object. Let's right-click on it and select edit. Okay, this is the network range 192.168.22.0 with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Let's click on NAT tab, and you can confirm that I have configured hide behind the gateway NAT configuration for this network object. Fine. Now I want to set up inline layer for this access control rules. For that, uh, I'm going to right click on this rule number one and select new rule and click on above. Here I'm going to specify the name for this rule. I'm giving name internet access rules. Now you need to define the source. Already I told you that in a parent rule for the inline layer, one or more properties that are the same for all the rules can be part of inline layer. So in my case, I'm using LAN network object as a source in this rule. So let's add, if you want to define the destination, you can define it here, but we are going with the any services is also again going to be any. And here under action, I'm going to click on this drop down button. And this time you need to select inline layer and then you need to click on new layer. Now suppose if you have any existing inline layer, that time you can edit that layer from here. But we don't have any and that's why I'm going to click on a new layer. It will ask you to enter an object name for this inline layer. Here I'm giving name internet access inline layer. It is a best practice to share layers with other policy packages when possible. And to enable this, you can select multiple policies and rules can use this layer checkbox. Now I'm going to click on advanced. 
uh, here you can configure the implicit cleanup rule to drop or accept and by default it is set to drop and that is recommended now i'm going to click on ok and now under action you can verify that internet access il the inline rule which we have created is a display and here you can see default cleanup rule source is any destination any service any and there's that is going to be accent for drop fine fine so this is our parent rule and this is our a child rule now if you want to create a new rule under this inline layer then you can right click here and select new rule above this a default cleanup rule okay and you can specify the name now suppose if you want to drag this existing rules under the inline rule that time you can do that as well let's select rule number two and drag it under this main rule so now you can see it is 1.1 uh, let me delete this uh, not disable let's delete it yes okay now let's take this rule number two okay and let's do the same for the last rule as well fine so now when you collapse it you can see we have only one rule for internet access rules and the source is going to be lan now when the packet match with this condition that if source is coming from the lan segment then the action is going to be internet access inline layer and then it will expand and start checking with this rules fine now here you can see the dns ntp and other entries are there and this is the default cleanup rule now if the packet doesn't match with any of this rule then the action is going to be drop fine so at this point we have successfully configured inline layer rules for checkpoint firewall r81 now we need to publish these changes so let's click on publish to save this And now let's click on install to push this rule. Okay, let's uh, close it. Now let's again go back to that Windows 7 computer to check whether these inline rules are working or not. Let's again open Internet Explorer and let's access google.com website. And as you can see, we can successfully access the google.com website on this windows 7 computer that means all these rules are working successfully let's click on rule number 1.3 allow web traffic and click on logs to see the logs as well let's double click on it and here we can see it is matching with the rule allow web traffic and access rule number 1.3 fine let me close it. So in this lab guide, we have learned the steps to create inline layer rules in checkpoint firewall R81. And this is going to be our parent rule. And then we have a child rule under this inline layers. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next lab guide.